this is a running light array and what you can see here is the LEDs are glowing one after the other that means each of the transistors is getting on after some time and this is due to the RC constant the RC constant of the three circuits are different the first transistor doesn't have any RC constant the third the second transistor has a little bit less RC constant than the third one that's why the LEDs are flowing in this way tuck 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 and as you can see there is a timer IC 555 which gives a on duration so that the capacitors can discharge now it's a running LED effect but how did I make it so sharp the discharge the discharging capacitor is kind of a dim dim it goes on dim and then it's it becomes off but how did I manage to get a, such a sharp off that's due to the feedback network so let me explain this circuit to you turn off this circuit and why I have added this potentiometer is I am changing the RC constant of the second LED so see as I change the RC constant see now both the LEDs second and third are getting activated almost at the same time now will increase the RC constant see now it's getting on after the third LED first third and then second as you can see now I will decrease the RC constant now I will decrease it now see all three first second third so let me explain this second diagram to you this is my research diary now this is the circuit of that thing a clock pulse goes and it turns on this transistor it turns on the first LED meanwhile the clock pulse is also fed to this transistor and the capacitor discharges when it discharges to a particular value when, if, when it fully discharges not to a particular value this transistor turns on and this positive flows here now due to this transistor we get a sharp of response of LED and the LED shuts on after some time because of this 10k resistor this negative will take some time to fully reach here and as you can see here is a 100k resistor so it will take a little bit more time for the negative to reach here and so the third LED this is the third one which which ons very late and this is the 555 a stable multi vibrator circuit you can see this in YouTube it's a different tutorial 